Hello, Chris here again. Let's go ahead and use some of the tools that I have taught so far to make a low polygon, um, simple jet fighter as practice. So I would encourage you to follow along as I do this. Feel free to obviously pause the video or rewind. I'll do my best to um, narrate what it is that I am doing. And then when you're done with this, I would encourage you to go ahead and make your own. So I'm gonna start by creating a cube. I will scale it in the X. I hit R to go to my scale tool, something like this. Let's make it a bit shorter as well. I'm gonna hit Control Shift X to go to my multi-cut tool. And I'm going to drop an edge loop here and here and maybe here. And then I'll go to my face, uh, go to face mode, select those faces, um, hit Control E, and I will offset them inward like this. And then I will hit Control E again to extrude again and pull them up like so. I'll select uh, this back edge and pull it down, this front edge and pull it down and this edge, pull it down a bit, something like that. And here we have the cockpit. And let's go ahead and take these two faces and extrude them again and just maybe pull them up a little and then scale tool to scale them in a little. I'm going to take this front face and scale that in like this. I'll take these bottom faces and pull them up a little bit. Take this front edge and move it down. Let's drop an edge loop in the middle by hold, going to the multi-cut tool, holding control and middle mouse clicking then double click on this edge loop and I'm going to bevel it to split the edge and increase the fraction. Then I'll go to face mode and select these faces, extrude them, hit W and then move those faces down a bit. And then I will scale it in like this and in like that. Let's make another edge loop and I dropped it right there. Let's do the same thing where we double click on this edge and bevel it to split it. So let's go ahead and create another edge loop around here and then select this face and this face and this face and this face and extrude those. Use thickness to pull them out and hit W and then move them move it back for the wings. You can hit R to scale it out and just kind of choose a length that I want. Scale it in a bit so they taper inward. I'm going to select these faces, hold shift and select these faces, and then hit W and move this down a bit. You can select these edges and let's use the vertex snapping trick. I'm going to turn the grid off so it's easier to see. So I'm going to select those edges, select the Y axis, hold V and middle mouse click on this vertex. Then I'll select these edges, hold V, middle mouse click on that vertex. Next I'll select this face and this face and extrude. And I'll use the word thickness to pull this out like so. And I'll take these, extrude and pull them up like this. Then I'm going to drop an edge loop in the center here, and I'll do the same thing where I double click on the edge loop, bevel it, and then control the fraction, something like this. I'll take this new face, extrude this face, pull it up, scale it in, move it back a little bit. Take these faces, extrude, Use offset to do something like this, then extrude again, thickness to pull this in, then on the back side, same thing, extrude, offset, 
uh, and then extrude again in thickness to pull that in, like so. Then let's take these faces and these faces and extrude them, pull them out. And we'll take these faces and these faces, extrude them, pull them out and hit R to scale them in and then W to move them out a little bit like that. I want to make sure these faces are flat so I'm going to select all these. Hit the R, uh, hit R to go to the scale tool and then just make sure they're flat by doing that. Then I'll take these faces, extrude those, hit W, move them out, extrude them again, uh, scale them in. This is the same thing as using the offset tool. Extrude them again, hit W, and push them in like that. Let's also kind of, oops, W. Push them in like that. And then uh, let's go ahead and add an edge loop around here. And I can take that face and extrude it like so. All right, now that we've done that, um, let's go ahead and select the object. Go to Mesh Display, Harden Edge. And then let's go ahead and turn on. Um, let's turn on this screen space ambient occlusion, and this multi sample anti aliasing. Let's see what it looks like, and we've made a little fighter jet. Uh, obviously, you could keep pushing this, or you could make your own. Um, but there's an example of just using, starting from a cube and using the multi-cut tool, the bevel tool, and the extrusion tool to very quickly make um, something that you, know, you could push further. Let's go ahead and delete the history on this by selecting it and clicking on that. And from here, I could export it to texture um, after I UV unwrapped it. And we'll see you in the next video.